Hey guys and welcome back and today I want to talk about a new one bay NAS from the guys at Tonology. I want to talk about the DS120J. Now for those that aren't aware there has already been a one bay NAS released a little over a year ago and that was the DS119J and this device is very similar but with a couple of tiny differences and by the way when I say a couple of tiny differences from what I'm seeing right now it might just be one difference but there's a slight chance of two. This device here arrives with an Marvel Armada Bay CPU, and I'm just checking on my notes, it's the A3720 uh, CPU there, which is a dual core, but the exact clock speed of that, I'm just getting verified now. It might even be a pinch higher than its predecessor, but we will have to wait and see with its predecessor, predecessor 119J arriving uh, with a dual core 1.0 gigahertz CPU, but I'm going to get that verified about the clock speed of the processor on this. One definite improvement is to do with the memory. Its predecessor arrived with 256 megabytes of memory, and this device, the new one, arrives with 512. Which I know when we're talking about values like that, a number of you are going to be a little bit disappointed by those hardware values. Remember, this is a budget NAS with a budget audience in mind. Now, last year when I did my bench tests of the DS119J, I had used it for surveillance and I used it for general file handling and a number of um, the other first party applications from Synology. Now, the initial boot up of it wasn't great. It has to be said, there was too much going on and that memory couldn't really cut it at day dot. But once you had it up and running and it had gone through its processes and installed it what it needed to and indexed what it needed to, then it ran incredibly well for that hardware spec. So I'm hoping this boost of memory in the upgrade will be um, significantly more useful too. So this um, this one bay NAS device will of course support the very latest hard drives up to 16 terabytes, those 16, Iron, uh, 16 TB Iron Wolf hard drives, and I believe currently 14 terabytes WD Red. On the rear of the device, because it's using the same chassis, my understanding is that it's going to have a US, USB 2 and 1 gigabit LAN there on the rear. Now, one bit of things, uh, research I was doing on the sidelines of this was to do with that processor. The, the processor's family actually enables um, other gigabit LAN connections. And although the, 11, sorry, the 120J is almost certainly going to be a 1 gigabit LAN device, it is interesting to see that that CPU actually does support 2.5 GBE. So the NAS doesn't seemingly, from what I'm seeing on the specs, support 2.5 GBE, but that CPU is capable, even at that low, low end, that it is, it's a 32-bit ARM. Um, so I would be interested to see what happens forward after this device. We've already seen with that DS1620XS that Synology are now considering and indeed dabbling into 2.5 GBE. So it'll be interesting to see what this does to the rest of the range, things like the 220, the 920, and stuff like that. We're still yet to hear any concrete information about those, though I have had a few bits of uh, information thrown my way, which I'm gonna verify and hopefully put into a new video, either today or in the next two days, um, during Berlin's own launch event for Synology. But I'm going to wrap things up here on this one bay. There's not a vast amount to know about this time, and I know the target demographic for this device uh, being uh, quite an affordable first time NAS. It's not really going to be most of you that are listening to this, but I will get this followed up with a bit more information, definitely regarding that CPU and this device's capabilities, because it will support um, Synology's DSM software. Um, the 119J did arrive with support of the software and indeed when I was using the DS419 Slim which again had quite a, a lower end CPU it still ran DSM very very well indeed as did the 119J eventually and that memory boost should hopefully make all the difference but I'm going to wrap things up here thank you so much for watching there's going to be more innovations in the hardware and software from Synology being announced so do click like if you enjoyed this subscribe and the bell to be more notified but otherwise thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time